disrespectful, ungrateful piece of garbage. Yes, yes. I'm a rebel. Came to ball, fresh from the ball. Back to the wall with my hands up. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Urban Gear Man, and I'm back with another video. And today, we're talking about Jay Hood. You disrespectful, ungrateful piece of garbage is what I used to think about Jay Hood. Jay Hood used to be a rapper in a group called D Block, one of my favorite rap groups, if you don't know. What happened was Jay Hood ended up dragging the D Block chain on the, on the concrete and walking it like it was a dog and just disrespecting the hell out of the chain. And I used to think he was wrong for it, but after hearing his side of the story, I can understand, which I will go into. But I want to show you the significance of this happening in hip hop, right? Um, making a custom chain for a rapper means you are a part of the crew. You are a part of the gang. It's your initiation. It's like getting a tattoo saying your brothers for life. And him dragging the chain across the street, you know what I mean, was just plain disrespectful. You know what I mean? That the most disrespectful thing you could do at that time in hip hop. I don't know about right now how disrespectful that would be as much, but it still holds weight. You know what I mean? So I'm going to show you clips of Jay Hood um, dragging the D block chain right now or whatnot. And then I'm going to go into why his side of the story. So check this out. All right, y'all, here's footage of Jay Hood dragging the chain around New York and D block. So check this out. Might talk about holes. Yo, Hood, where that chain at? Ice. We heard that chain got taken away, man. What's poppin'? What chain? What chain? The, D, the D block chain, we heard it got taken away. What chain? Yeah. Who took it? Huh? Oh, check this out. Jay Hood said recently that he never meant to release this clip um, that the cameraman did it anyways. He said like he did it out of impulse because his boys was like egging him on. But then after he did it, he's like, don't release it to the cameraman. And the cameraman said, okay, I won't release it. And the cameraman lied and said, yo, it was my cousin that released it to the internet. It wasn't me. I'm sorry. You know what I mean? But realistically, it wasn't. So in his defense, Jay hood really didn't want to do this but check it out who, who took that shit i heard cheeks who? took it cheeks i don't know yeah. cheeks you talking about cheeks or sheep who? you talking about cheek blue cheek some, cheek some shit cheek loot i don't know ox, the big nigga from the yeah. big man from lax yeah the <laughs> where the chain at be where the chain at this shit, man. What? Oh, oh fuck you what? still got it take what well, man I, you don't even see it on me oh. you see what i'm gonna do it i'm just walking around like this <laughs> Let it scrape the floor and all that, like, you know what I mean? Yo, let me see some. Take what? Nigga? Come on. Take the post, look, homie. This is our life. I want this shit like a dog and all that. Come on. Jeez, he must have been hurt. Uh, I wonder if that was diamonds or more. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> but yeah, that was that clip. You know what I mean? Man. All right, I'm back. Let me tell you Jay Hood's side of the story and why I understand why he did what he did now. So, as you know, Jay Hood was a part of D Block. What you didn't know is that Jay Hood actually kind of started D Block. Um, Styles P thought of the name or whatnot, but Jay Hood and Sheik Luch were the ones or originators of D Block, and Styles P and Jada Kiss came after or whatnot so he was there from the beginning so it's not like um kissing them put jay hood on he was actually there and signing up deals and everything so here's his story so i i believe he they got signed to a label or whatnot and all the d block members got advances 60k whatever advances jay hood didn't get an advance so everybody else got their advance but jay hood didn't get nothing He's supposed to drop his album, Tales from the Hood. It hasn't dropped. Styles P, everybody else dropped their CDs and mixtapes, but Jay Hood wasn't dropping or whatnot. And Jay Hood's kind of broke at this time. While everybody has their money, they're good and everything. 
right? So check this out. He felt disrespected. Like, I, I'd feel disrespected too. My album hasn't come out in years. You guys got advanced from labels. So check what happened. His house burnt down. Remember, he, he only had 10K, he said. He said his house burned down. He had 10 or 12K under a mattress and it burnt down. So he had nothing. You know what I mean? So he lost all of his money. And you guys are saying that's cheap change. But back then, that was a decent enough money. 10K for the age that he was. A lot of people don't have 10K. But he lost everything, right? It wasn't until his house burnt down that, oh, they want to give him an advance. So already, oh, something has to happen to the man for them to pay him the money. So he felt disrespected or whatever, right? And when his album was dropping, he was trying... He was trying to go to other labels and everything, right? But they wouldn't let him out of his contract. But the disrespectful thing J Hood did was um, had a meeting with Fifty Cent when D Block was beefing with D, um, with G Unit at the time, and he went and took a meeting with Fifty Cent. That's what got um, D Block kind of mad at J Hood. You know what I mean? Like he's snaking them or something, and they wouldn't let him out of the contract because of that. So he felt disrespected. You know what I mean? And he didn't get his advance, so I could see where he was coming from. You know what I mean? But dragging the chain was ultimately disrespectful. But tell me what you guys think about that situation and your thoughts on it. Anyways, I'm signing now early.